The Zoana is the name of a cave in Georgia and a genetic cluster formed by the genomes of two Upper Paleolithic individuals. What makes these genomes so fascinating is their far-reaching genetic legacy. They are connected to nearly every ancestral West Eurasian population, from Eastern hunter-gatherers to Ibero-Marusians. All major ancestral West Eurasian groups carry a portion of Zadzuana ancestry. First, let's take a look at what the Zadzuana people actually were. Genetically, they can be described as a mixture of Crown West Eurasians and Basal Eurasians. Basal Eurasians were an early group that split off from the rest of non-African populations before these groups interbred with Neanderthals. To estimate Basal Eurasian ancestry in Zadzuana, I use Kpadam. The key is to anchor Neanderthals in the model and introduce a left population with no Neanderthal ancestry. In this case, the Mbuti pygmies serve as a proxy for basal Eurasians. According to this setup, the Kotias individual shows about 26% basal Eurasian ancestry, while the Zadzuana individual shows about 28, both forming part of the broader Zadzuana cluster. One important detail is the p-value. When modeling with African reference groups, the p-value drops drastically. This indicates that these ancient individuals did not actually have African ancestry. Rather, basal Eurasian ancestry can mimic African ancestry when Neanderthals are anchored in the model. But once actual African populations are introduced as anchors, the model breaks down, showing that what we are detecting is truly basal Eurasian not African. I made some Kpadam models where I attempted to estimate Zadzuana ancestry in various Eurasian populations. You will be surprised by how widespread it is. Here I modeled Ibero-Marusians as 76% Zadzuana and 24% ancestral North African, Basal Eurasian and Sub-Saharan African. The unfortunate thing about this model is it's impossible to determine how much of this 24% is Basal North African or Sub-Saharan. The Natufians end up overwhelmingly Zadzuana in origin, but they do have a slight 2.5% additional Basal Ancestral North African or Sub-Saharan African admixture in addition. Here is a model I made for the Vesme Neolithic farmers. They score 76% Zadzuana, 16% Ancient North Eurasian, and 7.5% additional Basal Eurasian admixture. And here is a similar model I made for the Ganjdare Neolithic farmers, also Iranian Neolithic farmers. They score 74% Zadzuana, 19% Ancient North Eurasian, and 7% additional Basal Eurasian admixture. Now let's move on to Caucasus hunter-gatherers. The Mesolithic Kotias individual has 82% Zadzuana, 16% Ancient North Eurasian, and around 2% additional Basal Eurasian admixture. And here is the Satsurblia Caucasus hunter-gatherer. He is predicted to have 80% Zadzuana, 17% Ancient North Eurasian, and 3% additional Basal Eurasian admixture. Now let's move on to Yamnaya. According to this breakdown, the Yamnaya are around 58% Zadzuana, 32% Ancient North Eurasian, and 10% Western Hunter-Gatherer. As you can see, the Proto-Indo-Europeans were also majority Zadzuana in origin. But it wasn't only Yamnaya who had Zadzuana ancestry. The Pitidware culture of southern Scandinavia carried around 27% Zadzuana ancestry too. According to Illustrative DNA, they carry 23% ANF admixture, which is likely the source of the majority of their Zadzuana. But what if I told you that Zadzuana ancestry was already present in Mesolithic Europe before the farmers even got there? That's right, all Easter hunter-gatherers from Karelia in the north to Sidielkina in the south carried Zadzuana ancestry. The Karelian hunter-gatherers from Yuzhny Aleni Ostrov carried 13.4% Zadzuana, 29% Western hunter-gatherer, and 57.6% Ancient North Eurasian ancestry, while the Sidielkina hunter-gatherers from Samarskaya Oblast carried 21.8% Zadzuana, 25.9% Western hunter-gatherer, and 52.3% Ancient North Eurasian ancestry. Thank you for watching. Links to purchase my products and services will be in description of the video.